Hi everybody. So finally I got around to install my 12 volt uh, thing here for my crock pot. And I'm going to install it right up here. And before I do that, I want to cut a piece of paper. And you're going to see why I'm going to cut a piece of paper. Okay? So I gotta make, from this piece of paper, see if I remember how to do this, I gotta make a box. I'm just gonna fold this, very simple. Fold it like that. Make something like this. Okay, and I'm gonna use tape. When I was younger, I could do this a lot better. I could make a box real quick, but right now my brain is half frozen. Can't really think, I don't know why. So I'm just gonna use tape and it's gonna work just as well. So I got my box, it's not perfect, but what this is going to do is I'm gonna put it behind the hole that I'm going to cut. It's a little bit too big, but it doesn't matter. And then I'm going to put tape along these edges that will be against the wood on the inside. So when I drill the hole, all the sawdust will fall in here and not all over the place. All right, so it doesn't look like much, but the way I made it, hopefully it's going to catch the sawdust. Um, it would work better if I had a a box already made, but this will work just fine. Right. Here goes nothing. Take this down. Easy. And all the sawdust stayed in there. Uh, it didn't go all over the place. So. Okay, so this side minus this side is plus. All right, so. Now all I got to do is put that in and then I have this lock nut that goes on the inside and it's going to lock on this so that it won't go anywhere. So let's do that. I want to keep this on top. This moves around but I want to keep it right on top. Like, just like that. And from what I remember, it doesn't matter which way this is I think. Just want to make sure that you tighten this thing nice so it doesn't come out. There you go. Alright, so I need about 14 inches of cable. I already pre -major, measured, so just cut it right there.
All right, so I have to make two connections. One connection is going to be to the fuse box, which I'm going to use these two. There'll be one on each end, and these will connect to the fuse box. And then to connect to that 12 volt socket thing, I have to use two of these. And you can see they're slightly different. These will fit inside uh, the little peg things that that thing has. So this is what I need. Uh, so I gotta take the ends off of this. And of course now it's been a few months. Has it been a few months since I? Yeah, a couple months since I've done this stuff. So I'm trying to remember if I remember the exact length that I need. And let me see. That looks pretty good right there. And for the other one, that looks pretty good too. Okay. So I need to do four like that more or less all right now that i cut the ends off all right so now i'm going to insert these um shrink wrappings before so now i got to remember so i got to put one connection like this here and now i'm going to crimple that and You don't do this for a couple months and you start to forget. So you want to go right there, put it like that, and just go hard on it. There you go. That's one side. Nice. And put put that away. Okay, trying to be careful. So I got these ends down and done. And yeah, you see that? I'm not saying what happened. It's it's a uh, well, all right, I'll tell you. Uh, <clears throat> so, I'm heating these ends up, right? And my friend here was kind of kind enough to um, hold this for me while I was getting the other, you know, one thing ready. And, and then I was just reaching off. I totally forgot about this thing, and I was reaching over for something else and I burned my, my arm. So it's all good, doesn't hurt, so. All right, so I got these ends, both ends done, and now I'm just gonna install them and I'm done, so. Positive is done. Now we're gonna do the negative. All right, so now let's put the fuse in and see what happens here. And <coughs> just kidding. <laughs> Nothing happened. All right, the fuse is in, and all I need to do is put the copper back.
all done.